Hello and welcome to section Handling Text Data with Scikit-Learn. In this section, we are going to cover several techniques for handling text data. Specifically, we are going to cover bag of words model for representing text, sentiment analysis on IMDb movie reviews, removing stop words to improve our model for sentiment analysis, TF-IDF model for representing text, using n-grams for improving sentiment analysis and we will see what they are using stemming and lemmatization for improving sentiment analysis and finally we will cover topic modeling or extracting topics from text using truncated SVD and a technique called latent Dirichlet allocation. In this specific video which is titled bag of words model and sentiment analysis we are going to download and inspect the IMDB movie review dataset. We are going to create a bag of words model to represent the data set and we are going to apply different machine learning models for sentiment analysis on the IMDb data set. The bag of words model is a very simple model. We take the whole corpus of text that we are given that we want to analyze or do some predictive analysis on like sentiment analysis. We tokenize the text. Basically tokenization means extracting the words out of text which is usually done with spaces as boundaries. Once we have the words, we identify the unique words and that constitutes our vocabulary. So we might have, for example, a piece of text where a total of 100 words are used. So those 100 words are our vocabulary. Then we count the occurrence of each word in our vocabulary within the text and that constitutes our bag of words. And then once we have this representation of the text as a bag of words, meaning unique words and their counts. We can use this representation to apply different machine learning models on it. So let's see how we can do that. As usual, we import a bunch of libraries. We start with a simple example of two phrases stored in a list. So this is the first element of the list and this is the second element. Scikit-learn provides us a class called count vectorizer, which implements the back of words model. We create an instance of the count vectorizer and we fit our phrases list of two phrases to the count vectorizer. So it creates an object and it fits the data and it also creates a vocabulary while fitting. So the vocabulary is contained in vocabulary underscore field of the vectorizer object which has been fitted to the text and it is size 19 so there are a total of 19 unique words in our vocabulary and the content shows us a dictionary where there is each word with its assigned index so the has been assigned index 16 quick has been assigned index 15 so each word in the vocabulary in the bag of words model is represented by an index into an array or a list where that words count resides the next step is to transform the phrases using the fitted model so that we get our bag of words. Bag of words looks like this. We have these tuples. The first element is the training example number. First, so we have only two, so zero and one are the indexes of the training examples or rows of our data set. And the next element is the index assigned to the word as part of the vocabulary. And then it is followed by the count of the word in the corpus or in the text. So if we convert our bag of words into an array, we can use the two array function is something like one hot encoding. So we have the full vocabulary here. So for the first phrase, full vocabulary, all the 19 words which are here are represented either by zero or by their count. So in the first sentence, the word at index zero occurs zero times and the word at index 1 occurs one time, the word at index 2 occurs one time, and so on. This is index 16, if you count from the start. So we have indexes from 0 to 18, and this is index 16. And as you can see, index 16 occurs two times, and in our vocabulary, index 16 is the, which does occur two times here and here in sentence 1. So we can get the vocabulary names by also by get feature names function which is available in the vectorizer. So here we get a list of all the features, all the unique words at the proper indexes. So the occurs at the 16th index of this list. 
let's apply this bag of words model to our imdb movie data set so the imdb movie data set is available on this url bag of words meets bag of popcorn and you can download the data set from this link i already downloaded the labeled train data dot tsv so this is a tab separated values tsv stands for so that's why we use the delimiter as backslash t instead of comma which is the default delimiter for read csv and we get a data frame back so let's look at the data frame so it has an id which is the id of the movie that we're talking about and the sentiment either a one or zero one means positive sentiment so the text is giving a positive review to this movie and zero means that the text is giving a negative view overall now these labels are based on the rating given by the user so any rating of higher than five stars has been given a one sentiment and and five or lower has been given a zero sentiment if we count the sentiment columns values we have exactly 12500 positive reviews and 12500 negative reviews so each class is evenly balanced so first of all it's a classification problem and we are given a sentiment as a label and it's a binary classification problem instead of uh, using our normal train test split just for the practice just let's write a simple split function which just divides the data set into default 70 30 split uh, we have a split mark here and if split mark is greater than zero and split mark is less than one so we pass a, a fraction which then we take it as a percentage or basically we multiply it by the length of our uh, data set otherwise we just convert it into an integer and we split our data from 0 to n which is calculated here and we return a copy of it as x train now x test is from n to end of the data set y train is again from 0 to n and y test so on we return all these four splits of our x and y so we initialize the count factorizer as before we split using simple split we pass the length and the rest are default values so we pass data dot review column which is the actual data we want to analyze and we pass the sentiment as our y value we get this split 17500 and 7500 so we have 25000 movie reviews and in our splits we have y train y test we have these are the positive and negative classes which are pretty much balanced still so we don't really have to worry about it and the next thing is we fit and transform at the same time our training set and we only transform after the fit has been done to our test set so basically we have built a vocabulary from the training the idea is to actually learn all the vocabulary words from the training set and then apply the transformation to build the bag of words on the test set as well as transforming the training set of course and we print the feature names so we have number of features 65005 these are the unique words that we have and the first 20 features we print out then we randomly print out from 19500 to 19530 initially these are only numbers and or like these 00, 00 pm and so on and then every 2000 feature if you print them out we get these different type of words so we can see we have successfully built the vocabulary and you can just even print the vocabulary to just see the counts of in our dictionary of each word if you want to see if, if a particular set of words occur in our data anywhere we can just pick randomly some number some index and we extract the features like for example 10 features from this index for example like 45000 as we have 65000 features and we take the 10 rows of the data from x train j to j or rather seven rows from the data starting from the 10th row and the columns which are representing features or 65000 features we pick the only the 10 columns starting from 45000 to 45010 
and we convert that slice into dense array and we create a data frame using the words we extracted from the feature names this is a particular set of words we are interested in whether this it occurs in this slice or not and we can see that production occurs in this slice as this index and also in index 4 and the rest are pretty much zero the next thing we are going to do is we're going to use since this is a binary classification problem so it's natural to use logistic regression first for it and using logistic regression we do a cross validation score with cv equal to 5 and our mean cross validation score which if we calculate from the mean of scores we get a point at it so it will take a little bit of time like a few minutes now let's create a logistic regression model with default values and see if it is consistent with our cross validation score and so on the test set we can see that we have a 0.87 which is consistent with the cross validation score 0.879 we can print the confusion matrix so we can see there are 460 false positives and 451 false negatives so we have mid 400s incorrect in both cases we can also try a multinomial naive base which is another variant of naive base model that we have used before we before used the gaussian naive base we have briefly discussed what naive base is and makes a naive assumption about independence of the features and it's based on the base theorem and all we get a 0.845 test score which is lower than logistic regression and our confusion metric kind of matches the false positives but on the false negative side it is is much worse and similarly for the random forest classifier with default number of trees we only get 0.744 which is significantly lower than logistic regression and naive ways both and now let's uh, do some predictions we just create a review just a simple movie review and we say this movie is not that good just notice that we have two words here not and good and separated by that so this review is obviously bad it's a negative review the sentiment is negative and if we just convert it using our vectorizer and we use it to predict our sentiment using the train model our logistic regression model says that it's a positive review which is wrong our random forest model says also it's just a positive review whereas the naive base says it's a negative review so the naive base was able to pick it correctly this time for our synthetic sentence let's try another one this movie is not that bad so in this case it's a positive review at the end of the day all of our models say that it is a negative review so they were fooled by the words again so you have to get this insight into overall how these models actually are predicting and by just doing these simple thought experiments and experimentation with test or dummy reviews and lastly look at this sentence i was going to say something awesome or good or great or good but i can't because the movie is so bad so obviously it's a bad review so the answer should be zero again our logistic regression model was fooled by this but our random forest and naive base were able to correctly identify it the last thing we can do before we end this video is to have a grid search using logistic regression with the c parameter for starting from 0 0.001 to 10 varying it like in about five values if we do this it will take a while but we get a cross validation score from grid search cvs 0.88 and the c value most appropriate c value which gives us the highest score is 0.1 so we have trained a logistic regression model we have done some experimentation we see that even if our model is as high as 0.88 it doesn't mean that it's really going to predict everything correctly just by creating some synthetic sentences we can see that our best model also fails in many cases